in printers. It's the mode of work, the way printers bring out what they print. If you put a paper in a printer, it's going to use this mode to subtract colors and everything to achieve what you want to print and bring out the color. RYP, that is red, yellow, blue, subtracts to mix paints. And so the CMY color model is designed, designed to support color printing on white paper. You can continue. Next slide. And so just what we said at that time, it subtracts. RGB, it adds. And in the middle, we have complementary colors. This color, red and cyan. They are trying to tell us that red and cyan are complementary colors. So if you want to dress now, you take red and maybe you go and look for something. Yeah. Mm, mm, yes, it should not be too contrasting and it should not be too matchy. That is what fashion is all about. So it's trying to tell us complementary colors with red and cyan, green and magenta, blue and yellow. So, uh -huh. so this is the color wheel. It's showing us all the colors. This is the primary color, red, red, yellow, blue. And in between, we have tertiary colors, mixture of all those. Just a further explanation of all these CMYK and the color models. So this is it's just illustrating the same thing. Color wheel. Uh -huh. Then this is here. Here is the name of a color. Here is the name of a color, meaning that red is a hue. Um, blue is a hue, yellow is a hue. Saturation, saturation, kind of, I think, uh, saturation. Saturation is the one that talks about them. Um, is the one that talks about the lightness and darkness, I guess. Yes. Saturation talks about the brightness of a color. The brightness of a color. How bright? If it is the, it, it is blue. Blue is the color. Is a hue. Blue is a hue. How bright it, it goes, and then value. That is the lightness or darkness of the shade of the color, the shade of the color. So on the Photoshop, according to how it used to be, the hue is going to, these are the colors. The arrow points, if you, if you click on either of these points like this, it's going to show you the color you are picking. Then the saturation, that is the brightness, how bright it is, it's going up. Then the bright, uh, the value, that is the shade, how light or dark it is, it's also going up. So that is it's just showing us the selection. So this is um, RGB, red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, yellow, all those things. This is hue, saturation, and um, hue, saturation, and brightness or value. Let's continue. So a sequence, color sequence, a sequence of less, lessons covering the topic of clothes and fashion. It includes clothes, fashion accessories, colors, patterns, fabrics, opinions, and imperfect and conditional tenses. In terms of fashion, there are two pop popular approaches to style that represent extremes. One on, on one hand, we often speak as if the most fashionable outfits are those that fully coordinate or match. But that is not what happens. It suggests that pairing the same or similar colors with each other may be key to fashion. Pairing the same or similar colors to each other too may be one of the keys to fashion. And on the other hand, fashion is often about being noticed. You know, the reason why most fashion mainly are, okay, I draw my eyebrows, okay, I'm going to put gold. I'm a dark person, no. my eyebrows are drawing, I put gold. Why did I put gold? It's so that it will be noticed. So, that is what it's just saying. So, you can move on. Move on. Sequencing is incredibly important and really affects the psychology, how we combine colors mainly. Sequencing is just like how you work colors into each other. It affects the way we design clothes too. So let me imagine that, okay, I want to sew a cloth that is um, peach. And I'm going to look for, I think for is still okay. Let me look for a very funny color. Brown. Peach and brown. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, let me say peach and green. There's still a shade of green that can go with peach. Too green. Uh -huh. But let me now say peach and maybe army green. Have it? Down and still go. It still goes. Picture and yellow. Let's say picture and yellow. Orange and blue. Let's say picture and yellow, orange and blue. So this sequencing is just telling us that there's a way we can, in our work, we can inculcate the colors and everything. So types of sequencing, we can sequence by color. Like, okay, this color matches this color. Okay, let's do it. It affects 
our design too, even in the use of computer designs. You can sequence using mood. What mood? Imagine that you want to sew for somebody now. You want to design a clue that somebody is putting onto it, the burial of somebody. And you now use orange and you added blue. And you finish the computer design. When you give it to the customer or the fashion house, will they see it and say, ah, thank you, you did a very good job. Do you think it's going to, the person is going to a burial. You know that the mood in that place is a solemn one. A kind of, uh -huh, uh -huh. so, uh, sequencing by movement and by composition. Movement in that, the movement of the fabric. If the person is walking, how will the fabric move? It will tell you, it will teach you to kind of help you create what you want using the design, the design and composition. What kind of fabrics can be used to compose the thing? So, thank you for listening. And thank you for participating in the workshop. I have a question. Yes. And uh, when you're talking about sequencing by movement, mm. now, how do we explain Sometimes if you see people wear clothes and uh, we know we climb backs, it's obvious. Mm -hmm. But you realize that people have clothes on them and they are having difficulty climbing backs. And most times these are not, I mean, imported or ready made. These are cut and so you understand. And they still they will still show it such that it will still be difficult. Do we say uh, that's a problem with the owner of the clothes or the fashion, I mean, the fashion is like itself that is not sequencing according to. <laughs> I believe that that, that movement it's, it depends on the personality that is putting on the clothes. Some people love excessively smart things. You know, if you want to sew skirt now, you can try to sew it in micro. You can try to sew it mini. You can try to sew it um, short, just normal straight short. And then you can try to make it three quarter or long. So it is the place of, I believe it's the place of the person putting it on. I can't, I can't be a fashion designer, you can't be to sew something short for you, and I decide to say you must wear a long skirt. It is what you ask me to do. Though I can advise you, I can advise, but it is your money, it is your clothes, it is, you are giving me a job to do. So, I think that is the place, like, people that put on maybe skirts that will not be able to help them to... Let me, let me, let me give you a better example. Okay. The one that affects somebody like me. Now, you buy some trousers, and you realize, with the, with the nature of my work, I'm trying to climb a place, and the next thing is yours, you just get the sound. Exactly. <laughs> but when you wear the trousers, people will look at it on you, they'll be like, no, it's Very smart. Cool. It's, but I want to walk. <laughs> I can't really walk. Conveniently, without having to watch whether it's going to bust or not bust. That's, uh, I, think. I, I think the place of looking good, if you want to really look good, it shouldn't be at work or at your workplace. So if you are going to do that kind of work, ensure that you are putting on a clothes that is fit for that purpose. A clothes that is fit for that purpose. Don't want to look good and also want to work at the same time. It is good. You have to look good while working, but wear a clothes that is fit for every purpose. Okay, today I'm going out, I think I'm going to take a bike. Wear a clothes that is fit for taking a bike. Today I'm going to climb a bike, okay, I'm putting on a trouser, but it's a very low waist trouser. You know that low waist trousers most times expose the back. Okay, I want to board a bike, okay, yeah? it's a low waist trouser, how would I do it? If you know you are convenient, showing it, it's your choice. But if you decide, ah, okay, I don't like it showing, we have something that is fit for that. Some people put on low waist trousers and decide to put on like a camisole, long one that will cover everything when they put on it, when they climb the bike, so it doesn't show. So I think that is it. So any other question? No other question? Yes, still? Yes. Okay. okay, so I want to say thank you for attending this workshop. We are really happy to have you around. And also, I want to say that you'll be seeing this video on our YouTube channel, Because Fashion Outlets. Please subscribe, share the video, tell people about it. And then I also want to use this video to speak to fashion designers. Let me say in the background, in Nigeria generally. There's this, um, I think the main reason why this workshop came to be was because of networking.
So the main reason why this workshop came to be is because of networking. It's it's a kind of like he was asking us the other time that why is it that fashion designers in Nigeria you have a style and it was you that developed it from the start, but you can't just claim the style that you have. It is my style, it is my work. It's, I think it's mainly because there is no amalgamation, there's no unity and unison. And because we don't network well enough amidst fashion designers. So this is I think it's a kind of call to fashion designers home and abroad that are Nigerians that we should find a solution to this. We should find a solution to this. So subscribe to our channel, Basilicos Fashion Outlet at Basilicos Fashion Outlet. And um, you can also click the notification button for other videos. When you see the videos, you can also, it will be very useful to you. And for the next workshop, please ensure you are there. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Audio Jungle Fashion designing is sweet. Fashion designing is wow. If you go into it, you like to know more. You like to press more. And Barisimo, Barisikos is open for you to come and train. And I assure you that I will get the best. I am very happy that you are part of this company. God bless you. Love you all. My experience so far. <laughs> This life is full of up and ups and downs. Anyway, fashion design is sweet. I am pressing to know more because you can know more in fashion design. It's very sweet. It's something you'll be happy you are into. Though everything that have advantage has disadvantage. So my experience so far concerning this business is we have some customer that have frustrating at times, but you have to keep calm, you have to, to, to treat them with wisdom and appreciate them, at least their customer, they used to say, customer, customer, I have the true right or something, so you, you, we thank God, we thank God, I thank God because I'm into fashion designing and I want to know why, I pray to go high, I hi and know more about it. Thank you. Good day, listeners. My name is Moya. Um, I'm here to talk about the Silicon Fashion Outlet. Speak um, up, please. Speak as, up. As the name implies, that Silicon means royalty. And our fashion outlet gives you the opportunity to express yourself using fashion design. We are taught how to sew, we are taught how to measure different things that regards to fashion design. The program that I just held was a workshop and is a way for you to learn new things about fashion design. You also don't have an in-depth knowledge about what fashion is all about, how you can express yourself using style, colors, to express what you wear. So I want to tell you all that you should follow our YouTube channel, Basilica Space Fashion Space Outlet. Once you follow us, you'll be able to um, be up to date with information about us and also get to hear when next the workshop is um, happening so that you can also partake. Thank you. I am a fashion designer in training. I won't say I'm a fashion designer yet because I'm still learning how to be a fashion designer. There is a very conducive environment to learn. There is love, and there is a way I even get to understand fashion designing differently. I am taught things well, and I even get to appreciate clothes more than people now because 
and trained to understand the lines on your clothes, the colors.